can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given these two squares, and from this vertex, let's draw two congruent segments. Then our goal is to find the ratio of the blue area to the red area. Now pause this video and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now let's see if you get the correct answer. All right, so to answer this kind of question, I will show you two different methods. So the first one is without the loss of generality, let the side of the small square equals one. And there's a purpose of doing one as a side length of the small square. Right, the second method is, of course, the general solution for this kind of question. So letting the side of the big square be a variable and another variable for the side of the small square. So let's do the first method. So without the loss of generality, let the side of the small square be equal to 1 and the side of the big square be equal to x. Now, why is that? Why is this important? Because here we want the ratio of the blue area over the red area. And this is just x squared over 1 squared. Now, if we simplify x squared over 1 squared, this is just x squared. So the good thing here is we just need to find the value of x squared. After getting the value of x squared, we are done. That is the ratio of the blue area to the red area. Now from here. Let's start our computation. Let's solve for the value of x squared. Now, since the side of this big square is x, so its diagonal measures x multiplied by square root of 2, following the rule of 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Now, this side length is also 1 because it's a side length of the, this red square. And we know these two segments are congruent. So we can say that this segment is also equal to x multiplied by square root of 2. Now from here, since we have here a right triangle, we can now use what we call the Pythagorean theorem. So we have x plus 1, this side length, x plus 1 raised to the power of 2 plus 1 squared equals x multiplied by square root of 2 raised to the power of 2. Now simplifying this, we have here x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. We have x squared plus 2, x plus 1. 1 squared is 1. And then x multiplied by square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 or multiplied by itself is just 2 multiplied by x squared. Now, combine like terms. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, combine like terms again, then equate this to 0. So we have x squared, positive x squared, minus 2x, minus 2 equals 0. Now, let's focus on this result. What we're going to do here is to add 3 on both sides. So why is this help us? Because negative 2 plus 3 will give us positive 1. And the left-hand side now is a perfect square trinomial. And we can factor this out nicely as x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. Now let's focus on this result. Now at this point, what we're going to do is to take the square root on both sides. And take note, x minus 1 is a positive number. If x minus 1 is a negative number, then x becomes a negative number also. So x minus 1 is a positive square root of 3. We don't care to the negative square root of 3, all right? And since we want x squared, so let's find the value of x first. Add 1 on both sides, so we get that x equals 1 plus square root of 3. Uh, take note, we want x squared. So square on both sides, so we have x squared equals 1 plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 2, and that is the value of x squared. And if we want to simplify this, so using again the square of a binomial, we have 1 plus 3 plus 2 times square root of 3, or simply equal to 4 plus 2 times square root of 3. And this is the value of x squared, which is equivalent to the ratio of the blue area to the red area. And that is the answer to this question. So using the first method, we found out that the ratio of the blue area to the red area equals 4 plus 2 times square root of 3. Now, 
How about the general solution for this kind of question? All right, so let's do the second method. Now, let A be the side length of this big square or this blue square and B be the side length of this red square. Now, we know the diagonal of this big square or this blue square equal to A times square root of 2 following the rule of 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And also, we have here a multiply by square root of 2 because they are equal. This side is simply equal to B. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem again because we have here a right triangle and we need some space for the Pythagorean theorem. So we have A plus B raised to the power of 2 plus B squared equals A times square root of 2 raised to the power of 2. Simplifying this, A plus B raised to the power of 2, we have A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Bring down B squared, A times square root of 2 multiplied by itself, we have 2A squared. Now combining like terms, B squared plus B squared is 2B squared. And combining like terms again, A squared and 2A squared and equate this to 0, we have a squared minus 2ab minus 2b squared equals 0. Now from here, we will do some trick again. What we're going to do is to add 3b squared on both sides. And here's the reason. Because negative 2b squared plus 3b squared, we have positive b squared. And a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is a perfect square trinomial. But before that, let's focus on this result because we, ha we need some space to solve this kind of question. And we now factor a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is just a minus b raised to the power of 2. Now get the square root on both sides. We have a minus b equals b times square root of 3. Again, we don't care to the negative value of a minus b because a minus b must be a positive number because as you can see, a is greater than b. All right, next. Combining like terms, so add b on both sides and then factor out b on the right hand side of our equation. We have a equals b multiplied by 1 plus square root of 3. And then now, we need the ratio of the blue area to the red area or simply equal to a squared over b squared. So now let's divide both sides by b and we want a squared over b squared. So let's square on both sides. We have a squared over b squared equals 1 plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 2. This is familiar to us. And we know if we expand this, we have equal to 4 plus 2 times square root 3. Therefore, given this condition, given this figure, using two methods, then we found out that the ratio of the blue area to the red area equals 4 plus 2 times square root of 3. And as always, we are done.